this is my current YouTube channel art. I will be making some changes and that is what I will be showing you in this video. But in this video, I want to show you how to make YouTube channel art from scratch. Because I don't have a YouTube template, I don't use template, I just follow the guidelines of the measurements of the dimensions. <laughs> I use Canva when I make my YouTube channel art. I like this application because there are many things that I can do here and actually almost everything that I need is here already. There are also templates here from logos, Instagram posts, presentation, poster, brochure, map, resume, YouTube icon, desktop wallpaper, information graphics, and a lot more. That is why I like using Canva. If you are interested with Canva, there is a free version of this application. Like for example here, there are already thousands of free templates and design types, photographs, graphics. So there are already a lot of choices that you can use. But since I wanted to maximize the functionality and I wanted to make the best out of this application, so I took this pro plan. The pro plan is at $119.99 a year or $9.99 per month, you can save a certain percentage of this price if you will pay annually. We are now at home page of Canva and we will start right away to make the YouTube channel art. Just search YouTube and then choose YouTube channel graphics. Here we go. If you can see here, there are already a lot of Templates. So these are templates for YouTube channel art. You can just choose the one that is for your channel. Change the channel name or the wordings or the picture, the graphics in there. But in this video, I want to show you how to make YouTube channel art from scratch. Because I don't have a YouTube template, I don't use template, I just follow the guidelines of the measurements of the dimensions. Just click this one, create a blank YouTube channel graphic. And now we are here. This is now ready for a new YouTube channel art. According to YouTube, for the best results, use an image that's at least 2560 by 1440 pixels. Your banner image must meet the following criteria. Minimum dimension for upload is 2040 by 1152 pixels with an aspect ratio of 16 is to 9. At the minimum dimension, the safe area for text and logos is 1235 by 338 pixels. Larger images may get cropped on certain views or devices. File size is 6 megabytes or is smaller. Going back to Canva, the first thing to do is to look for a form, a square for example. You can choose whatever color you want, it doesn't matter. Once we're here, take the first measurement or the first criteria, which is the minimum dimension 2048 by 1152. That means 2048 is the width. Twenty forty-eight. That's it, and the height is 11.52. There you go, 20.48 by 11.52. And then place this box at the center. You will know it when you see two intersecting lines, the vertical line and the horizontal line intersecting with each other. Going to the next criteria is the safe area for text and logos, and that is 1235 by 338. So take another square. You can choose whatever color you want as well. 1235 is the width. Adjust it to 1235. 1235. There. And the height is 338. Okay, and place it at the center the same way you did with the first box. And now it's here. And now we have a template. This is now the template of our YouTube channel art. This means that this yellow box is the safe area. Everything that you put in here, a picture, a logo, text, 
that will be visible across all devices from mobile phones to tablets to laptops to computers desktops if you want to use rulers additional tool just go to this part here files show rulers and then just drag lines two more and this area that's it and here also there that one there and another one and this is now again our template remove the color and also this one the next thing to do is to add the background color of your choice for your youtube channel art and mine is i have a set of colors here so i just go to branded colors so i just change that one to this one i have here this is my brand color ffde 59 i am now ready to add other elements as well the next thing that I do is to add a picture of myself and just go to these images and I have already here my uploaded pictures and uploaded images here and if you want to upload pictures or images just go to this area upload and then just choose unit and then upload it from wherever you have saved it from your folders or desktop documents since I already have my images so i just go back i choose this one a recent one and of course you can see what i am seeing the background is our living area and i don't want to include it in my youtube channel art so there is a little hack here in canva where you can remove the background so just go to this part here effects and this one here background remover when you press this one everything at the background will be removed there you go so just adjust the size so that this picture will fit in the box because if this is larger like this one then part of the picture will be cropped so it should fit in this uh, box, the safe area. Okay, that one, let me see. Okay, I think that is uh, okay now. The picture is inside this safe area. And the next thing to do is to add text. Add headline. You can choose different fonts. And this is my brand font. This is the font that I usually use in my channel then just type the channel name Gretel loves to share so just adjust the size as long as it fits in this safe area okay i think this is okay now for me and then i will also add some information about my channel stick words or information about the content of my channel and about what i'm doing in my channel so i still do live streaming so i can continue with that word live streaming i will still be doing personal vlogs but this time not our lifestyle vlogs but these are the vlogs related to youtube for example, unboxing of my live streaming gadgets, experiences, what I have learned or experienced here in YouTube. I want also to add this one because this is a kind of my tagline. I used to call this as YouTube Thoughts for Beginners. This include like for example tips tutorials information about youtube and anything that we wonder that i wanted to share so that is one of the taglines for me a kind of branding of my channel 
one of the brands of my channel is using the color red so i emphasize some of the words here by using the red color and i have this code here f14 e2e also this one here i emphasize this one by using the color red and also here youtube thoughts for beginners that's it and then i just have to adjust the sizes of this text so maybe this at 33.5 will be okay and also this one and then just align it like that but in your channel if you want to add like images or illustrations it's okay it depends on the branding of your channel this is now my new youtube channel art i changed the picture because this is a more recent one i also changed the font of my channel name because i wanted it to make it more readable even if at a distance so the font is uh, just as simple as that and it is also because this is one of the pieces of advice when my channel was reviewed by a known youtuber so i just take his advice there's no harm in trying and using the, the piece of advice it, i truly appreciate that that he did that and as you can see also here i use the colors that i have chosen as brand of my channel and that is this color yellow here and then the block color of the font combined with the red color now that this is done i just have to remove these uh, rulers these lines here so just go back to this part and take that and take that and download okay what am i going to do now is to go to my channel and now we can change the youtube channel art by either going to this icon here this camera icon here or pressing the customize the channel either way you will go to the same place you will be diverted to channel customization either way you will be there now we are here at channel customization at the branding part so go to banner image change and then choose the downloaded youtube channel art that has been made through canva we are guided here so again this uh, part here viewable on tv viewable on desktop viewable on all devices so you just have to adjust this size and that's it i want it to be that way and then done and publish